What's going on YouTube? So today we have the Saddleback Leather Side Pocket Duffel in Chestnut. And as you can see here, this is the old logo. And I do have the old logo luggage tag riding side saddle here. Now this is the this is the old school chestnut, the old school leather. This is the real deal. The really thick, heavy stuff um, that was, I don't think it's made differently than it is today, but the leather is definitely different. This is some thick stuff. And this has the, uh, the black, hard plastic-like pigskin lining. And this uh, duffel is, is very, very heavy. And its capacity is, in my opinion, it's fairly small uh, considering its weight. That doesn't stop me from carrying it, though. Again, just like the uh, like the water bags, I take this um, with me on road trips, and just put whatever I need to put in it uh, to travel. So again, you can see that beautiful old logo there, and get you another shot of the actual bag itself. And here's the side. There, you can see how pretty that leather is. And the back. Got a few little character marks on it from being carried. Then the other side. Again, this is just really, really gorgeous leather. Sorry for the camera work. Um, the inside. Let's take a peek here real quick. Again, it's the, uh, the, the pigskin lining that's black and, and plastic-like. If I can get this thing open. Oh, that's one thing that um, is kind of a pain. In order to open this one, now I know there, there have been different, uh, different iterations of this thing, but this one, you can see that the uh, belt... For or the yeah the belt and the buckle for the side pocket go over the top through the lid and then to the actual side pocket. So these actually have to be undone before you can get into the bag. So that's kind of a little bit of a, a pain. Again, sorry for the camera work. Uh, so let's take that one out and. So we have to do the other side. Probably should have done this before I started the video. Okay, almost in the bag. So I guess it does offer a little bit of, uh, of security in that sense. Okay, now we can get into the bag. And there it is. So you can see that the the side pockets open up, kind of like wings there, and they have a side pocket. These aren't, they're fairly wide, they're not real deep. Definitely useful. Um, and you can see that, that hard uh, pigskin lining. And here's the inside. Again, pigskin lining. And this you can see this back flap. This stuff is like plastic. Now, obviously, it's very durable. Um, it's easy to clean. I don't think you can stain this because it's it's like plastic. And this is some really, really heavily processed leather. I'm not a leather expert, but I know that leather doesn't isn't like that naturally. Um, there are side pot or inside side pockets as well, right here, that are made. Um, from the uh, from that pigskin, and you can see this pretty leather. See how that wrinkles up right there? Really, really nice. And this is very, very thick. And as you can see there, it is dyed all the way through. I know that's been a something of a problem or a question on recent um, chestnut products. And you can see some little scratches there. Now you can. It's hard to tell from. From this angle but the the actual 
inside here is not very big. It's not really wide, it's not really deep. So it doesn't hold a whole lot of stuff. Um, and again, it's uh, this thing is extremely heavy. You can look at these, um, these side seams, how thick those things are. That is a lot of leather gathered in one place and then, and then stitched together. So the bag is definitely stout. There's no, um, there's no doubt that this thing can easily last probably a few generations. Um, it does have its drawbacks. Um, it is heavy. It is hard to get into. It is limited capacity. But just like all the other um, saddleback stuff, man, does this thing make a statement. It is, it is really, really gorgeous. This thing, I think I probably need to give it a treatment. And this one, um, I don't remember what I paid for it. I, I want to say it was about four fifty, which I think is a really good price for old logo stuff. And I know not too long ago, uh, Saddleback Leather had an increase, a price increase, more or less across the board. And some of the prices, the the increase was a, a significant. So I imagine that this thing would probably go for a a pretty good amount of money and I there are there were times that I've actually considered using or not using it selling it just because I don't use it that much and it is it is really heavy I, I probably should have weighed it so I could tell you guys what it weighs but it's uh, like I said the construction is very very stout that's really the reason why the thing is so heavy it is beautiful though it is really really gorgeous leather this old logo stuff if you don't have old logo items in your collection get get at least one because it the leather is so much I don't know if it's better but it's definitely different it's thicker it's got a nice finish on it it is dyed all the way through so I the old logo stuff I highly highly recommend it and one thing about these videos I guess they're not really review videos they're more of uh, information uh, videos so that's what I'm trying to do here I'm just trying to not educate people but just give people a, uh, some examples of these, uh, these older type bags. I do have some new stuff in the collection as well. Um, you can see the, uh, right back there are the squared backpacks that I will review at one point. And then I'm also going to make a video showing the differences between the, uh, all the different dark coffee browns throughout the years. So anyway, YouTube, um, if I sell this thing, I'll let you guys know first. And I'm not sure what the price will be, and the, but the price will include this uh, matching luggage tag, which is really, really gorgeous. Matches perfect also. Um, anyway, so if you guys have any questions or if you guys want to see something else about this bag, just let me know.